There we go. Good afternoon. 24 people in. Right away. Howdy, Jeff Keys. How's it going? Let's put on some music as well. Trivia. Here we go. Some funky background music. Hey, Dot. How's it going? Hello, Brodsky. Brodsyk7. Oof. Loud, loud, loud. How's everyone doing? It's Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday. The middle of the week. The best day. Which one is family... Is your favorite Morticia? Morticia, I like it. I like it. I like it. Um, is it really? It is Wednesday, unfortunately, or fortunately, halfway through the week, almost ready for the weekend. <laughs> In two and a half days or so. Hello from South Dakota, snowy South Dakota. Hello, welcome. Hello from London. That's what is where I am right this second. Where's my phone? Here it is. Um, I just think it's a 10 days off from work to go to Portugal. Nice. That is cool. Portugal is is good. Fun fact about Portugal. Um, all drugs are legal. So um, it'll be warm. And that, yeah. That was a trivia question. That's how I know that. That's how I know that. Um, how is everyone else doing as well today? I might resemble Cousin It. <laughs> nice. My kind of country. Good, good, good. It's fun. All right. Today has been a busy day. I've tried to get my camera vertical. And, of course, later today we have a brand new show called uh, Hot Seat on this evening. <laughs> Be safe, says Ryan. That's true. That's true. 27 below. That is cold. That is mega cold. It's quite, it's quite wet in London today. I went running this morning in the very wet rain slower because i don't want to slip i might resemble uncle fester that's fair i got um i got received this oh, sorry, i got in the, in the post i got this massive box of prime energy drink isn't that fun which i was gonna i'm still trying to resell but it comes with like i don't know a t-shirt other things i thought i was gonna maybe give it away but there you go watching tiktok while i run not this time not this time i've uh I've forced my phone in my pocket now and um, only listen to my headphones as I'm running through just to make sure that I don't fall over and break myself. 79 degrees. I don't know my Fahrenheit. I'm a, a dirty metric scum person. So um, all these all these temperatures are just mental hot. What's 79 in Celsius? It is. 26. That is warm. That is warm. Very warm for here. Um, in fact, London last summer is actually because it used to be quite quite uh it used to be quite warm quite cold here but now oh, wow i can't type i can't type there we go it was uh yeah like 104 over 104 degrees in london in the summer now which is mad isn't that one called pubert pubert yeah he is wednesday's brother definitely do people like the new wednesday series or do people prefer the Adams family. Oh, there's the one when they go on vacation to the uh, to like the camp over summer. That's probably my favourite one. I can't remember what it's called though. I haven't seen it yet. Vegas hot. It is hot. Puba Pugsley Pugsley Cowboy Weasels. Right. I think I think it is Pugsley. There we go. Everyone knows Adams family people in chat. Adams family values. That's the that's the film. That's a really good film. It's probably one of my favourite films. Uh, definitely my favorite answer film. Right, we are five past the hour. We have 61 people in. Um, and yeah, this is time for our daily Mortuary Show. Uh, my name is Tim, uh, and it is a very easy, uh, sort of easy quiz. Today's questions are kind of like difficult, uh, challenging questions today. Challenging questions today. Um, but fun. Maybe not the most challenging. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, it's very easy. Five questions. The quicker you answer, the more points you get. The more points you get, the higher you get from the leaderboard. And the prizes are one first place will get £10, a thousand stubs. Second place, five. Third place, £2.50. Fourth, fifth, and sixth will all get one pound each and a hundred stubs. Exciting. Exciting. So many things. This is the second show I'm hosting today. Um, so I was doing lunch, Tim. I'm doing this. And then after this, 
we've got the uh, new show tonight, which you have to. It is good. It's going to be good. You got to come up on camera to your phone to play though, which is exciting. But it's a good. It'll be a good show. I think it'll be a good show. And after that, you have our Last of Us review show as well. Basically, streaming all day today. I should just never just not get off camera if I don't have other things to do because we are arranging some other quite cool quiz stuff for the next for the next few weeks as well, which should be cool. Right. Enough talking. You want to stop for coming in last? I'll give you a key, Stubbs. I'll give you a key. I'll give you a key. I'll give you a. St- I'll give you a stub, Jeff Keys. Uh, if you come in last, right? Question number one. If I can read today, um, right? Let's go. Where are you most likely to be catfished? Is it at the Oscars, online, or swimming? I don't know if I've ever been catfished. Have I ever been catfished? No. Have you ever gone on a, a date and you've seen their profile and they look nothing like him like that? Is that catfishing? I think that is catfishing. I would class that as catfishing. Um, of course, uh, the correct answer is online. Um, you're not going to be catfish swimming, not with the modern slang term, or at the Oscars, but there is a chance you could be. Um, they might have told you that they would have meet you at the Oscars if they were catfishing you. Um, 50 70 getting it right. Four for swimming, one for at the Oscars. Um, now... Yeah, catfishing. Catfishing, we don't know, is the act of pretending to be someone else, either fictional or real on the internet, um, to to trick someone um, into either liking you for romantic reasons, for money reasons, for anything. Um, but that is the that is what a catfish is. Back to the Future is coming to Broadway. I like Back to the Future. That's cool. That's a good idea. Right. Question two. It's getting harder. Um, which contains the most pizza is it one 18 inch pizza three six inch pizzas or two 12 inch pizzas now this is a challenging question to you in hindsight looking at this now so like i like pizza we all like pizza but what is the biggest most pizza it is in fact and you know pizza restaurants make this hard because like you never know it is in fact one 18 inch pizza is the largest 17 going for that that's a brutal question 34 going for the 12 inch 10 going for three six inch pizzas um i give you the math so three six inch pizzas is actually 547 centimeters squared of pizza um 18 inch pizza is 1641 centimeters squared and two 12 inch pizzas is actually 140 1,459 centimeters squared. So you're getting about 200 centimeters squared uh, less pizza for that one, which is pretty crazy. But there you go. If you've got to get an 18 inch pizza, you know it's going to be more. But if the pizza is like 16 inches, then you should get two mediums because that'll be bigger. Uh, there we are. Interesting pizza facts. <laughs> I like that pizza formula, <laughs> Cowboy Weasel. We're going to say Quangson. Quangson. One, two, three, four in first place, followed by Bartholomew, Dav31 in third, Mrs. 12, fourth, Rai Rai, fifth, dot six. And Blue Posty 75 is in seventh. Uncle Ron is slightly late. Math is hard. I'm sorry. No one liked that question. It's all right. It's a bit interesting. It's like you could you could know it. If you know an 18-inch pizza is bigger than a 16-inch pizza, that's fine. It depends on how much pizza you order. Right. There we go. Doing all right though. We're doing all right though. Question number three. It's another number question, but a bit more nerdy than that one. In The Lord of the Rings, how many rings of power were created? Is it 9, 20, or 6? Pizza crust. Here's a terrible fact. I eat pizza, the crust first. So when I get a piece of pizza, I'll rip off the crust, and then I'll dip it in, like, whatever sauce I have, and then um, and then I'll eat the rest of the pizza um, so I don't know how cursed that is, but that is that is I eat pizza crust first because the pizza bit's the best bit, right? So you, you eat the you eat the crust first. That's what I do. I uh, know nothing about Lord of the Rings. Um, yeah, it's a cheerful one. This the correct answer is in fact twenty rings of power. Sixteen of you going for that. Nine, twenty-eight going for nine. Sixteen going for six. Sorry for two pretty brutal questions there in a row. Um, yeah, there were in fact twenty rings of power made. Um, three for the Elven King, seven for the Dwarf Lords, nine for the Mortal Men, one for the Dark Lord, one ring to rule them all. And that is that is 20, I believe. But it is 20 rings. It is 20 rings. 100%. Uh, I don't read Lord of the Rings. Um, man falls up on crest. Yeah, I, I do. 
But like when when I get too tired and too full of crust, then I stop. Right. These are harder questions today. I'm sorry. They're kind of brutal. Don't read Lord of the Rings. You can in the films. If you watch the films, the Fellowship of the Ring. It's like the first thing they say. They do like a flashback and they tell you about all the rings that were made. So it is in the is in the films as well. But um, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> okay, question four. Um, again, a kind of tricky one. Um, but you know, we can get through it. We've got tricky questions today. Um, which country was snooker invented in? Was it England, India, or France? Is snooker big in the US? I think it is, isn't it? Or like pool. Snooker is um, a good game. What is snooker? Says Ryan. It's um, it's like pool. It's like pool. It's a game you play on um, a game you play not at all. People don't know what snooker is. Okay, the snooker world champions. Um, well, as most things are, um, you call it pool. But pool is a different game to snooker, but um, it's the same sort of. Uh, okay, so snooker was in fact invented, believe it or not, in India. Which 35 you got right. Well done. Finally, a question that uh, the majority of the 14 for England, 9 for France. Um, in fact, though, it was made by an English person based in India because it was uh, one of our, um, you know, we love to invade India as a country, it seems. So, um, yeah, it was made by British people, but it was, in fact, made in India. Um, it's a type of pool without number balls. Exactly, yeah. So, snooker's not big in the US. That's interesting. There we go. Right. Well, uh, maybe a quick advantage there for... Um, people who play snooker. I don't even play snooker, but I don't know, I don't know what it is. Right. Question. Well, except the leaderboards before we go into the last one. Um, how are people doing? I'm sorry. This is a hard quiz today. It's a hard quiz. Mrs. 12 in first place, followed by Best Ken Ever sticking up. Urban Sabrero third. Dav 31 fourth. Year of the Tiger fifth. And Dot in six, holding on with Blue Posty, Carbo Weasel just behind. Uh, how fast did you fell? How far are you now? He said, oh. Ooh, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. Oh, 42, that's all right. 42, it's a good number. Um, Snooker Loopy is the greatest song ever written. <laughs> that's fun. Right. We're four questions in. We're one question to go. Uh, wait for the music to start. All right. Some jazz for this. Maybe not appropriate jazz music because um, these questions are stressful. I'm, I feel stressed showing these. You're going to have Snooky here. I know Snooky. We all know Snooky. All right, question five. Which of these soundtracks was not composed by Nicholas Brittell? Is it Moonlight, Succession, or It? Nicholas Brittell, one of my favorite movie soundtrack composers. Um, but it's a tough one, this. Unless you unless you know movie soundtracks, you might know um, he he has is pretty a pretty famous composer. But uh, as someone who likes soundtracks, I don't know exactly where it is. Well, I'm out. Um, well, Nicholas Patel, great composer. He did write the music to Succession, the classic Succession song you might know. Um, he also wrote the music to Moonlight, um, the classic A24 film. Um, bit long, Moonlight. Bit long, not going to lie. But it was sort of enjoyable. Um, and the correct answer is, in fact, It. Which 23 of you got right. Well done. 12 of you have a session. 17 for me. Like the it score for the latest film is very good. It's by uh, Benjamin Walshfish and uh, very good composer. Um, I think he's also British, but um, yeah, lots of uh, he does quite a lot of good music. I think I like him maybe a bit more than Nicholas Brithel, but uh, Nick Brithel does do a lot of cool sound. Right. Well done to everyone who got that right. Let's see who has won today's particularly hard quiz. I thought it was a trap. It, it could be a trap, but. It, it wasn't uh, a letter where to eat pizza. Exactly. Thank you, Bartholomew. You should eat pizza the crust first. It makes sense. You do it once. You eat the crust bit, dip it in, then eat the pizza. It's good. It works well, I'd say. Um, all right, let's look at the leaderboards. Who has won? It is Mrs. 12 in first place with 47K. Well done. Best can ever. Second, uh, Year of the Tiger, third Blue Posty, fourth. Cowboy Weasel, fifth. Urban Sobrero, sixth. Is and followed by, closely, by I Miss My Dog. The first, the top six players there, getting a chunky score better than uh, the rest as well. Well done, guys. That's good. Um, and yeah, well done for every 53rd, no stubs for last place. You get, everyone gets stubs for playing. Um, I stepped on a cactus. That's painful. That's painful. I don't think I ever stepped on a cactus. Um, 
Right. There we go. I'll send out a winner's pop-up. Well done to everyone playing. Well done for winners today. That was fun. That was good. Well done for beating my unfairly, um, maybe my unfairly uh, difficult quiz today. Maybe not too unfairly, but a bit, a bit of face. It's, it's, it's a harder one. It's all facts though, apart from the pizza question. That was, uh, that was maths on that one. Um, so right. So later today, uh, in five hours from now, we'll be doing our new game show where hot seat and um that will be fun it's a different format um, but it's at the same time um instead of more trivia tonight because we're going to try we're going to try new formats maybe like once a week or so because we like to test new ideas i mean it's a format we've done before that has proven fun um but we'll, we'll see um if you want to play um do join but be aware um you may have to cut you will if you want to win you're going to have to come up on your phone camera and talk to me uh and potentially win sit in the hot seat to win price it's a bit of fun it's exciting we'll see how it goes um and yeah we'll be back later on tonight goodbye enjoy the rest of your afternoon or day and yeah we'll be back in about five hours adios thanks guys